This is Adi Sharma Solution Class 12, Chapter 5, Algebra of Matrices. Exercise is 5.2. Compute the following sums. Now, in addition and subtraction, one thing is very important that whenever we add and subtract through matrices, adding subtraction both, the order and the dimension should be equal. Otherwise, addition and subtraction is not possible. And you just have to add or subtract the corresponding element. That is the AIJ here, AIJ here. Normally, what we do is, when we add A plus B, it is okay. But when we subtract, we just add with the negative of B. That's normally being done. So what we do here is, so I'll do the first uh, two questions so that you understand the later ones. I am writing here this first one, then the negative 2, 4, 1 and 3. First thing you have to see that the order has to be same. This is 2 by 2 and this is also 2 by 2. Now, corresponding elements just add. 3 and negative 2. Just add. 3 and minus 2 is what? It's 1. Negative 2 and 4. 4 minus 2 is what? It's 2. Then 1 and 1. This 2. Then 4 and 3. 4 and 3 is 7. Okay. Now let us do the second part also. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. And see the order are same. Both are 3 by 3. 2 and 3 is 0, 3, 5, negative 1, 2, 5. Then we have 1, 2, 1, minus 2, 3, 2, 6, 1. And 0, negative 3, 1. Now, corresponding elements we are going to add. 2 and 1. See, they both are 3 by 3. That is why we are able to add it. 2 and 3. 1 and minus 2. 3 and 3. 6. 0 and 2. 3 and 6. 5 and 1. 6. Negative 1 and 0. It will be negative 1. 2 and negative 3. It will be minus 1. 5 and 1. It is going to be 6. Okay. This is how we have to do it. Next one is ABC is given. So we have to do these computations. So the first one I will do it. And the fourth also. Because we have already done the two questions. So you know how to do it. Let me just uh, give you how we are going to do it. The first, there is a scalar multiplication in what? That is 2a minus b. So just write a here. So we are doing the scalar multiplication. 2 into 2, 4, 3 and 2. And then we have b with 3. So minus 3 into b. b is what? The second matrix. 1 3, negative 2 and 5. So first 25. Each element will be multiplied by 2. Each element. So 2 to the 4, 2 to the 8, 2 to the 6, 2 to the 4. Here. Then we have multiplication by 3. 3 into 1. 3 to the 9. 3 into 6. And 5 to the 15. Now either you subtract or you can add with the negative one. So the best one is just subtract it. 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3. There 8 minus 9. There it will be 6 minus of minus 6. Then we have 4 minus 15. What do you get? 4 minus 3 is 1. 8 minus 9 is minus 1. 6 plus 6 is 12. 4 minus 15 is negative 11. It's negative 11. I hope you will be able to do it. It is not 11, it is negative 11. Okay. Now let us directly multiply. I am doing the fourth one now. So I am multiplying 3 with the first one. So directly multiplying 3 to the, three to the 6, 3 4 the 12, uh, 3 3, 3 3 the 9, and 3 2 the 6. Now subtract it with twice of B. Now C B multiply every element by 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 
6, 2 2s are 4, negative 4 and 5 2s are 10. Okay, then C, so 3C, thrice of these values. Multiply this with 3, 3, 6, uh, this is a 15, 3 3 is a 9, 3 4 is a 12. Okay, so either you subtract first two or you can do the uh, second two like this because you know the matrix addition and subtraction they are associative. So let us take this 6, you can do directly also like like a minus b plus c kind of thing. That is I am writing this, you just understand 6 minus 2, 6 minus 2 and plus minus 6. That is 6 minus 2 minus 6 actually. Then 12 minus 6 and then you add with 15. Then you have 9, 9 minus or minus 4, so 9 it will be plus 4. And then you have plus 9, then 6, 6 minus 10, and then you add it with 12. So let us uh, write it the value 6 minus 2 minus 6 is minus 2, and we have here uh, 27 minus 6, 21, 18, 18, 4, 22, 12, 6, 18 minus 10 is 10. So this is your answer. And uh, this you can do by yourself, but uh, here is a catch. What is the catch? I have already told you that whenever we add matrices or subtract, the order has to be same. But here, if you see, you cannot just go adding and subtracting like that. When you want to add A and B, the problem here is the order of A is 2 by 2, but the order of B is 2 by 3. So the orders are not same. So A plus B is not possible. A plus B is not possible. Now B and C, you can just add these two because it is they both are 2 by 3, 2 by 3. This is the answer. You can do it by yourself. And the second part, here also is the catch. 2 into B plus 3A. Now same thing which, which, which is there, even if you multiply scalar, the order will not change. See, I'll just do it. 2 into B is 4 and 6 and I'm multiplying 2 with A and 14. Then 3 into A. 3 is negative 3 and 3 is 0. 3 to the 6. 3, 3 is a 9. 4 is a 12 and 3 on the 3. Now this is 2 by 2 and this is 2 by 3. The orders are not same. So addition may not be possible. It is not possible. May not know. It is not possible. But 3C minus 4B is possible. 3c minus b you can do multiply 3 with uh, c and then subtract it by 4 times b. Okay, this one a, b, and c 2a minus 3b plus 4c. So let us uh, do it quickly. I am directly doing it that is multiplying the first one with 2. So I am directly multiplying and putting it here minus 2, 0, 4, and this is this 6. 2 and 8. Then we have minus. Multiply the second one with B. So 3, 0, 0, 3 minus 6 and 5 is a 15. Multiplying 3, 3 was the 3. 3 into minus 3 is minus 9 and 3 into 1 is 3. Okay. Now coming to 4C. 4 times C. So you have 4 and G. And 4 to the 8. Then you have 4, 6, 4 to 24. 4 zero to 0. And 4 minus 4 is minus 16. Now you can do it directly also. That is, take all the 3 together. Minus 2, minus 0, and plus 4. Second one, 0, minus 6. 0 of minus of minus 6 is plus 6. And then we have minus 20. And 4 minus 15. 4 minus 15 and plus 8. Okay. The next one. 6 minus 3 plus 24. Then you have 2 minus or minus 9. That is plus 9. And then plus this 0. 8 minus 3 
plus minus 16. Okay. So you have this uh, this 2 minus 14 minus 3. This is 24, uh, 30 minus 6, 27. And this is 2 plus this 9 minus or minus 9. So 2 plus 9 is 11. 8 minus 19 it is going to be negative of 11. Okay. So this is how we do it. 2a minus 3b plus 4c. So this is how we uh, just multiply the scalar and do the computations. Just see the, the order has to be the you know, same. This is a diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. A, B, C are given in diagonal. And then we have to find all these. So first and second I will not tell. But third one, one will do because this is having a quite uh, all the combination of first and second. But first of all you need to know what is this di diagonal means. There are three values given and diag means it is basically a diagonal matrix. A matrix with three elements in the diagonal, others are zero. So just put it here in the diagonal 2 minus 5, 9. This is I am making as A. 0, 0, 0, others 0. Only diagonal 2 minus 5, 9. Now B. What will be B? 1, 1, minus 4. Others all should be put as 0. This is B. B. Now C. Same thing. Diagonal, place it as minus 6. 3 and 4. Others all 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now A minus 2B, B plus C minus 2A you will be able to do. I am going to do the 2A plus 3B minus 5C. So this, this is, let me just clear it. Okay. So these are all the answers but I am going to show you how this third is done so that you will be able to do the first and second also by yourself. And there is one more uh, thing I need to tell you here that the multiplication is a scalar multiplication in, and there will be only the diagonal values which are going to be different or affected by the multiplication. Other element because they are 0 they won't be affected. 2 into A. So just multiply this diagonal value by 2 and put it in the diagonal. That is 2 into 2, 4. Minus 5 into 2, minus 10. 9 into 2, 80. Right? I am doing the third one. I am multiplying the first one, first diagonal matrix with 2. So the result will also come in the diagonal, D I A G. Result also will write in D I A G, diagonal. Plus, now multiply the second matrix by 3. So 3 was a 3, 3 was a 3. And this, 3, 4 was a 12. And we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Third one, minus 5C. So multiplying the Final value by 5. 5, 6 is a 30. 5, 3 is a 15. 5 is a 20. Minus 30 actually. So now others are 0. Now corresponding value we have to add and subtract. 4 plus 3 minus of minus 3. Let me write it here. 4 plus 3 minus of minus 3. Minus 30. Then other, other I am not doing because they all are zeros. They won't be affected. You just have to worry about the diagonal value. So I am taking the minus 10 plus 3 minus 15. Okay. Now the third one which is the third diagonal value. 18 minus 12 and minus 20. Others just, just put all other values as 0. 4, 4 plus 3 plus 30. This is 37. And this is minus 25. 3. It's going to be minus 22. And then we will have 18 minus 12 minus 20. That is going to be minus 14. Right? Others are 0. All others are 0. Just put all others are 0. And this is the final matrix. Okay? Now how are we going to write it? This is not done. We have to write like this. Diag, diagonal and 37. You can write the comma also because in the question comma is not given so you can just skip it. 37 then minus 22 and negative of 40. This is the answer you have to write. Now given the matrices this. 
A, B, C. Now you have to prove that this is associative. That is A plus B plus C, A plus B plus C are equal when A plus B, B is done first and B plus D is done first. That is, if I write A plus B plus C plus uh, A plus B plus C and do the B and C first and then add with A is equivalent to add it, add A and B and then add it with C. I hope you got the idea. So matrix addition is associative also and commutative also. So this is the associativity and you, you, you can do it. I am not going to solve this but just let me tell you the answer will come same. These two will remain same. So you, I hope you will be able to do it. Okay, and the solution is in front of you. But the logic I told you, what you have to actually prove here. Find the matrices x and y if x plus y is this and x minus y is this. So this is a basically a linear kind of equation. In order to do this, you can just you know write it like a, a linear equation and solve it. You can do it like this, you know. But the best thing is that directly why not to find x and y? So if I add x plus y and x minus y, I'll get to get 2x. If I add x plus y and x minus y, I'll get 2x. Okay. So what do we get? So 5, 2, I'm just adding these two. 5, 2, 0, 9, and this 3, 6, 0, minus 1. So this is 2x. From where it has come? x plus y plus x minus y. This is give you 2x. You have just add these two. 2x will be 5 plus 3 is 8. 6 plus 2 is 8. 0 and 0 is 0. 9 and minus 1 is 8. So this is not x. This is 2x. You have to divide the uh, matrix by 2. Or you can say multiply the matrix by 1 by 2. When you multiply by 1 by 2, you get just divide by 2 actually. Every value. 4404 4, 4 will come. Now this we got. Now coming to x. x already uh, done. y. So now if we subtract these two. That is x plus y minus x minus y. If you subtract these. What do you get? x plus y minus x plus y. So x gets cancelled. y y is 2y. This is going to be. Now subtract these two. 5, 5209. Minus 3, 6, 0, negative 1. So 5 minus 3. You can just add these two with the negative of uh, the second matrix. So 5, 2, 0, 9. I am adding it. And when we add, the second matrix has to be negative. All uh, values should be negative. Negative 3, negative 6, 0, negative 1 will become plus 1. Now add the corresponding value. 5 and 3 is 2. 2 and minus 6 is uh, negative 4. 0, 0, 0, 9 plus 1 is 10. So you get 2 minus 4, 0 and 10. So this is your final value. Okay. The things are thing is not done because it is too high. You have to divide every value by 2 also. So you divide by 2, what do you get? 1 minus 2, 0 and 5. This is the final value of x and y. Okay. This is your x, this is your y. Okay, this we'll do in the next discussion. Then thank you so much. Take care of yourself.